So here's the uh, next little project. It's a Tootsie toy, of course. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than the ones I've been working on. That's not true. The, the, the tow truck was about this scale. Uh, it's a Corvette. You can see under here. Chevrolet Corvette. It's a C1, clearly. Uh, and I have taken a um, sandblaster to it using silicon um, instead of something more abrasive. And that may be a bad thing to do to these cars, but it worked like a charm. And I've done it to a, a whole a number of cars that I've got to, uh, to make it all a bit easier. But look at here, nice detail, nice grill, front lights, parking lights, uh, Corvette flags on the on the front. Nice detail on the dash. And here in the back, a license plate. Look at that. Very nice. And in, in absolutely great shape, except for that. That is bad news. So we're going to have to get, uh, get stuck in there. But first, uh, probably just take some of this uh, 400 grit sandpaper and go over it. And then, uh, then get into repairing this. So here we go with the taped up the, the wheels and that's just a matter of getting a strip of tape and pulling it along the wheel, squeezing it on both sides so that the wheel can still roll as you go along. And once that's done, and you haven't shorted yourself a bit there, so I've got another piece for that, and we'll just cut one more slice on here to cover up the middle of the wheel. There we go. And then you're fully covered and no spray paint or anything like that is going to ruin your tires. And then we can get to sanding it and fixing this damage here. Looks like after taking some steel wool to her, it look, looks very good. Thanks to the um, Marburger Hot Rod Shop for letting me use their sand blaster on this. They work at a slightly different scale than I do, um, but were very kind to let me use some of their stuff. So it's, it's, it's looking really good, and we're ready to take care of that. Um, repair here is going okay. It needs to be <clears throat> filed off just a little bit more. It needs to be straight like that. Well, that'll come. Still just a little bit there that needs to be filled in, but it's got it sanded down pretty well. And I put just a small piece of metal behind it. It's just a, a small piece of tin from an old cigar box. And now I will just fill that in and sand it down again. That takes about an hour using this metal metal putty. And I'll make the next video and let you see how it goes. So that has turned out pretty, pretty well. And it's 
held up to the sanding and all that very well. So I've cleaned off the car with some white spirits and it's ready for um, primer. So after sandblasting and steel wool and sanding a couple of coats of primer on there and I have taped off the car. Uh, my research has shown that <clears throat> it's probably probably going to put a off-white interior. So I'm going to do the off-white interior, spray that on, and then cover it up. And so a little bit of overspray on that, and then cover it up and, and see if I can't keep the red overspray to a minimum. So this will be um, off-white, and then the rest of the car will be a, either a flat red or a metallic red. And maybe I'll go for the white panels on the side that you typically would see, but that might be a bridge too far. And it's really not part of the car, but we'll, we'll see how ambitious uh, I get. A couple of lessons learned here. Um, tape it off a little better, and when you do tape off, that's all that sanding there is from the white paint that was under there and had kind of bunched up around the tape. So I should have sanded that off before I started. Very dumb. And uh, take time and make little strips of tape to really um, cover what you've done. I tried to use it, it was too big and I sort of hoped. And then here where I repaired that big chunk that was ripped off, um, there were just some little little divots and there's a, let see if you can see it, there's a scratch right there, a deep scratch in the metal. And of course that's just right where I was working so that, that doesn't look good. So I'm going to go back and fill that in and not totally starting over but kind of. For the rest of the, you know, the paint job looks pretty good and then I'll do the headlights and the logo and the grill and uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, I got to start again on this. Looks okay. That back light looks better than it did. It's a big divot here. It's not perfect yet. And this, well, you can still kind of see a shadow of where it was repaired, but all that was broken off. And of course I fixed it with a plate and some liquid metal and sanded and sanded. And it was really hard to get it like this and it's still not quite right, but I can't sand it any flatter or better than that. So that's gonna have to be, I mean, it looks better than much of the original casting anyway. But uh, that's as good as this little damaged Corvette's going to get for now. So back to painting the interior. So I'm just um, covering up some of the areas that I want to paint a little different color. So I've gotten the front wheels covered and on the Corvette, the C1, there was a white here, or at least a different color. And so I've gone ahead and done that. This has gotten two coats, and I think I'm not going to give it any more because you can still see the, the details that, that are nice to come out. And back here, I'm going to paint this license plate and then cover it up get the wheels covered, and then all of it should just uh, be covered with red. I'll cover these as well. Cover with red, and I'll come back and paint that decal, or the uh, Corvette symbol. I think probably put some tape on top of that too. And see, uh, see how well it goes. So that's where I am now. 
and here we are taped up license plate taped up wheels all taped up Corvette wing on the side taped up front taped up a bit ready to go <laughs> except for the cockpit got to tape that up then we're going to put some of this red on there as often happens when I've had trouble with a car I've taken off all the paint again and started again and started again a couple of times uh, and here we have it that's where the damage was and it looks okay very hard to get that sander down totally flat I was just never able to really do it um, but it's a nice red color with a Dutch style license plate yellow license plate and a little bumper there with a chrome pen and here on the front a chrome pen on the grill combination of silver and white for the headlights and then the Corvette symbol with the red flag and the black and white flag try to paint that on there left the cockpit here um, just a off-white pearl pearl white uh, because I thought the the details came through on their own pretty well and that turned out uh, that turned out quite well and then I added the Corvette I guess it's C1 colors there oh, here that was certainly not on the original but I thought well I'm busy messing with this and I might as well do it so um, yeah, I think it's turned out okay and it's gone from a clearly damaged car to something that looks all right so pretty pretty pleased to be done with that and uh, well to go on to my next project